Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russom has a look at the current conditions live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. The highways are wet and the main roads we've seen so far tonight are clear, but we'll see how they do overnight with these freezing temperatures. Rhode Island State Police tell us this storm is to blame for more than 30 crashes throughout the state. If you don't have to be out tonight, stay home. State police say the number of crashes is slightly higher than normal, and none of them were serious. A lot of trees came down, a lot of wires came down, and we had a lot of roadways blocked. This is what we found over the Rhode Island border. Crashes piling up with trees splintering, blocking the road. A familiar scene playing out across Massachusetts. Trees taking down power lines. This one in Fall River at the corner of Robeson and Langley Streets. National Grid telling us these wires are still live. In Swansea, Nicole Fino was driving right in front of us when she found this. I was like, oh my God, is that our house that we just bought? She bought this house in December. Swansea police were stationed on both sides of her tree that came crashing to the ground, ripping down power lines and tearing off part of her house. She's now throwing punches to Punxsutawney Phil. I don't agree with the groundhog. <laughs> Why are you staying so positive and so light throughout all of this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just in. Overnight state police here to keep an eye out for black ice. You may not be able to see it, but it could be there. Live in East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.